open, neutral, cross, side, one, two, one, two, yes, that hand. Hey everyone, Simon here with Top Tennis Training and in this video I want to show you how to do the perfect tennis warm up. So the first drill is simply jogging from one doubles tram line to the other uh, doubles tram line and back. When you get to the end of the court, stay facing that direction and then come back using the back steps. The next drill is now doing side steps and you're always facing the net. So you get to the end of the tram line, come back in that same direction. The next drill is now doing crossover steps with your left leg and this will be on the way there and then on the way back you're doing cross behind steps with your left leg in front and your right leg going back behind. Now we do the right leg in front, so the left leg is now crossing behind all the way to the end of the court and then the crossover steps on the way back with the right leg in front. Now we do one right leg in front crossover and one left leg in front, so alternating between both. Now we're going to do high knees all the way to the end of the court. We're going to turn around and then we're going to do bum flicks. So kick in your own bum. Now we're going to roll the shoulders over. So we're going to be doing this with the arms. And once again, you're always facing that direction. When you get to the end of the court, you'll do it coming back and you'll reverse the direction that you're doing the shoulder turns. Now we're going to do hop and split. So we're going to do one with the left leg and then one with the right leg. All the way there, when we get to the end, we're going to do the same but coming backwards. So this is a little bit of a coordination exercise along with the footwork exercise. So now that you've raised your heart rate, you're ready to move on to the next steps. And these are more for mobility and just warming up the joints that you'll be using when we're playing the sport. So the first one is simply having our hands in front of our chest like so, about shoulder width apart with the legs. And all we're doing is rotating from side to side. Try to keep your head in that same alignment with your arms. Now once you do a few of those, you should start to feel a little bit looser and we can actually start to increase the range and all we're going to do is come across with that hand. Now this should make you rotate a little bit more and this should be, you should feel this in the lower back and in the hips slightly. So go for about eight to 10 each direction on both exercises. And the next drill is now lifting the leg and then stretching it out. So this is great for that. If you're pushed out wide on a wide forehand and you have to set with that hip, you want to make sure that you've warmed up the hips. So the first one is right leg out and left leg out. Right leg out, left leg out. 
And a great way to think about it is imagine there was a chair or a box and you're lifting your leg up and then over the box and then out. That's a great way to warm up those hips. Now we do the reverse, we're coming inwards. So up and in, up and in. Now we're going to do wrist rolls. So you're rolling your wrists in one direction to begin and then reverse. And the next one, you're simply warming up the wrist muscles. So you're flexing and extending the forearms. Now you'll need a racket. So you're gonna hold the racket on the throat and you're simply gonna be rotating, so pronating and supinating the forearm like this. Start off slow and then increase the speed. And this is great for that pronation on the serve and also that pronation and supination on the forehand side. And make sure to do both hands, so don't just do your playing hand. Also warm up your non-playing hand just to balance out and create that symmetry in both sides of the body. So we'll go for eight to 10 each direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's enough. Now we'll do a bit of footwork drills on the spot. So the first one is simply feet together into a split step. So it's gonna look like so. Feet together, split. And we go for 10 of those, followed by feet together into a double split step. So it's gonna be like this. One, two, one, two, one, two. Once again, you can go for 10 of those. And now we're going to alternate our feet over the line. So we're gonna take one line, we're gonna have a, quite a wide base, and one foot is in front of the line, one foot is behind the line, and you're simply going from here to here. So that would be one, and we're gonna go for 10 of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now we're going to have both feet together, we're going over the line, and back with the feet together in that same position. So there and back is one, and we go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, 10. Now if you can, do all of these exercises while holding the racket. This will just get you familiar with holding the racket and moving your feet at the same time. The next drill is now using one surface box to go with side shuffle steps from one uh, single strand line to the center and then back. So we're gonna go for that three times in a row. So there and back is one. So outside leg is touching that line and now I'm simply going side steps to there, one. Two, three. You can also do this drill with a crossover step. So the first step I'm doing is now a crossover step followed by a side shuffle step. Cross, side, cross, side, cross, side, cross, side, cross, side, cross, side. The next exercise, we're now gonna use the tram lines and we're gonna simply jump from one leg to the other. So this is great for that push from the outside leg when you are playing the sport. We're now gonna work on some shadow swings. So to begin, we're gonna start on this side of the court and shadow our forehand all the way to the end. And we're going to do one open stance and one neutral stance. So ready position, open stance, neutral stance. Open, neutral, open, neutral. Now on the way back, we're going to do the same with the backhand. This doesn't matter if you're two-handed backhand player or one-handed backhand player, you're gonna still work on that open and then neutral, open and then neutral. Open, neutral, open, neutral, open, neutral. Now we're going to shadow some volleys, so we're gonna do alternating between the forehand and the backhand side all the way to the end. Work on low ones, medium height, and the high ones all the way there and back. So there you have it guys, that's a simple warm up you can do before 
you play tennis, this could be before practice session or before a match. Now if you have less time, you could always modify this, you can do a few of the exercises, a few of the drills and leave out some others. But if you have time and try to create time to do all of these before you practice. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever we release a new video. Signing off, Simon from TDT, all the best and see you soon.